Hi, I'm Mr. Jacob and I work for the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library uh, at the Turner Branch. And today I'm going to do science experiments with you. Now before we begin, just to let you know, I am outside. You may hear cars driving by, you might hear birds singing. Uh, it's a, all sorts of noises happening. So I'm going to try to speak up so that way you can hear me. Now, the experiment we're going to do today involves balloons. Now the first thing we need is we need a balloon and we need a ah, penny. Now, the balloons I picked, I picked the yellow one because it will be easier to see through it when I blow it up because I want you to see what's happening. Uh, normally I would pick something that was clear or white. I'm going to put the penny in the balloon. Oop, after I drop it, let's put that in there. And I'm going to blow it up. Now, as always, don't do this without parents around. Make sure your parents are the ones who blow up the balloon. You don't want anybody choking on pennies or anything like that. But I'm a professional, so I can do this. Okay. So I'm going to tie that off. And there we go. Now, what I'm going to do put my hand on top, get a nice good grip, and I'm going to spin it. Now, as I do this, now, now I'm just barely moving my hand. And if you look closely, you can see that penny spinning in circles inside the balloon. And you can actually kind of see some of the tracks happening too. So what is happening, there are three things happening here. It is the law of motion, the law of inertia, and the law of force. Now I'm going to go to my notes here because I want to make sure I get this right. And it's okay if you go to your notes. That's perfectly okay. You're not going to remember everything. But basically, when an object spins, a force is created that pulls the object outward. So when I spin this, I'm creating a force that's making that penny want to go this way. Uh, and that's just like when you go on a merry-go-round or something like that, like, like a ride. Uh, you'll feel it pulling you to the edge. But besides being pulled outward, as the penny spins, it also pushes against the balloon, against the side of the balloon. And at the same time, the balloon is pushing back. So the penny's pushing against the balloon, the balloon's pushing back, there's this force pushing it over here, and that makes the penny spin, go up on its side, and spin in a circular path. Now, I'm putting energy into this. So as long as I keep putting energy, the penny will keep spinning. And that's why if I just barely move my hand, it'll just keep going. But if I stop, eventually the penny runs out of energy and it slows down until it eventually will stop. Now, uh, if, if you've ever been to a carnival or something where you see the motorcycles and the loop-de-loops this is the same kind of idea this is how they make that work they're using that those uh, three forces to make that happen now let's try the same experiment but we're gonna do something just a little different we're gonna take a balloon so we need a balloon but instead of a penny we're gonna use a hex nut show you that and we're going to see if anything changes with this. It should be the exact same thing. Put that in there. Remember, make sure your parents do this part. That should be good. I'm going to tie it. Now, we're going to spin this and see if it does anything different than with the penny. Now, the exact same thing is happening as before. It's still those three laws. And you can still see it spinning. You see those tracks making in there. It's making that really obnoxious noise. So do you have any idea what is causing this? I'll tell you what it is. It is vibration. 
basically what's happening, same things are happening as before with the penny. Penny's flipping on its side, it's pushing against the balloon, the balloon's pushing back, it's got this force pushing it. But the penny is round. So it flips up and it spins and without any problem. The hex nut, if you remember, that one right here, it is not round. I showed you what that looked like. It has six sides, that's why it's called a hex nut. Uh, that makes it a little uneven, so it is bouncing in there. It's vibrating against the balloon. And that's what makes that noise. So, if you do this, you can make a horrible toy that annoys your parents. So, thank you guys for paying, for listening to me. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, do experiments with your parents because one, it's safer that way, but two, it's more fun. You want to do it with other people. You can share the experiences and learn and kind of compare notes. So, thank you, and I will be back with another experiment. Bye.